was from my mom and I love my mom so then I felt guilty that I was gonna give it away but I don't use it so that's where minimalism is hard because I'm super sentimental and so now I'm like oh well I should keep it because if I make a pie in the future then I can use it and then I can think of my mom but then I have to realize that I may never make a pie <laughs> Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. This is Sarah, creator of thewealthyoptimist.com and author of Positive Power, Mastering Your Mindset to Unleash Your Inner Magic. So if you've been following along on my YouTube channel here, I've been doing a minimalism series and I'm going from what I thought was moderately minimal to discovering that I was probably a maximist and now I've begun a journey in our home to rid ourselves of all of our excess stuff so that our belongings don't own us and we have freedom to travel the world and pick up and go whenever we want without this big burden of all of this stuff that we had in our lives before. So the mess that you see behind me right now is our kitchen. And I have decluttered some of the kitchen already um, prior to filming this video. A few weeks ago, before I decided to start filming this series, I got rid of a blender, I got rid of some extra cups and dishes that we had, lots of Tupperware. I realized that we had far too many Tupperware containers and weren't even using them. I got rid of a lot of excess um, water bottles and different kinds of shaker cups with logos on them and things that were just given to us by companies and promotions. So I did get rid of a lot of that stuff already. As you can see in the background, there's still an abundant excess of things. So today I'm going to film as I declutter the entire kitchen and I'm excited to share this with you. So let's go and see what we've got. So here you can see the cupboard. In the cupboard, we've got an area of wine glasses. Um, I'm gonna be going through those because there are many that they used to be full sets um, of nice stemware, and some of them have broken over time, so we don't want to have like one random champagne flute. It doesn't make any sense to hold on to that. Um, and we've got a bunch of different dishes. There are actually even more in the dishwasher, so I'm going to decide which dishes to keep because we don't need we don't need 12 plates. We don't have 12 people come over here ever at one time. So it just creates an excess mess. Um, we also don't need to have seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 11 bowls. So let's get rid of some of those as well. Um, we do, we love our healthy stuff. So we've got a ton of healthy stuff. We actually put this board here because we wanted to have more room for our stuff because there wasn't enough room in the cupboards. So, now I'm going to minimize all of this and the goal today is to get rid of this board completely. So I'm going to find room in the cupboards for all of these things so they all have homes and we're going to tackle that. Um, in this cupboard here we've got our mugs. So those are the remaining kind of water bottle things that we ended up keeping. This is the mugs area so again we don't need to have four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve twelve mugs there are also some more in the dishwasher so i went through a phase i think all girls do when they go to like marshalls or winners and there's tons of cute mugs and then we just buy them all so i definitely am going to be getting rid of some of those mugs and then we've got cups as well and more cups in the dishwasher so i'm going to be getting rid of some of those um in here is mostly medicines. I'm gonna clear out what's expired um, and then what we don't necessarily need anymore. So they're medicines and also like um, natural remedies. Um, in here is the spices. This one I've actually already minimized. So this used to be absolutely full to the brim. This Tupperware was full of old expired spices. I didn't even realize were there anymore because it was shoved way to the back and there was stuff piled on top of it. So I'll kind of go through this and see what else I can minimize a bit. Um, in here is meal planning containers here and also towels so I'm gonna try to minimize you know and these are reusable napkins so these are stained these are really great so that we don't use paper towels um, so the cloth cloth napkins for eating and stuff um, so I'll go through that in here 
here we have the utensils area. So this, believe it or not, I also minimized already, although you cannot tell at all. And I clearly, clearly did not know exactly what I was doing when I began this minimalism journey um, about a month and a half ago. So I went through all this stuff and I thought I did such a good job getting rid of stuff. And then as I put things back in, I, it was full again. And I had already a box of things that I had gotten rid of. So give yourself time on this journey because it does take time to really figure out what you actually need in your kitchen and what is just kind of excess stuff. So we're definitely gonna be getting rid of some of these things today. Um, here is like a food drawer. So we're gonna be kind of going through here, finding anything that's expired, getting rid of that stuff. And then trying to make room in this cupboard. Ah, in that drawer, I'm gonna try to fit some of these things so that we actually have organization. And then, this is the Tupperware drawer. As you can see, the Tupperware drawer is full. And I actually gave away a ton of Tupperware already. So it's fascinating to me that this is full again. We don't use half of this stuff. So I'm gonna try to minimize it down to like, maybe like two of each size, which I still think is too many containers. Two of each size, really like, maybe one of each size because how often do I use them and then when I do use them, I wash them and then I can use them again. I don't need to have 16 Tupperware containers. I don't ever put 16 things in containers in the fridge at the same time. So let's really crack down here in this area. Um, this drawer is cleaning supplies. I'm gonna be eventually switching over to natural cleaning supplies. Um, for now, I'm just gonna use this guy up. Um, and then we'll go through this and tidy this up for sure. Okay, down here are pots and pans and um, serving dishes. So this one, as you can see, is quite a disaster as well. Nothing is organized, nothing has a home. It's all just kind of shoved in there willy-nilly. And we're gonna work on that. Okay, and then of course this counter. So I'm hoping, I already gave away a blender because we use a Nutribullet and it's more compact and I never really used the blender unless I was making like, you know, three shakes at once, which was very rarely and if I had somebody over. Otherwise the Nutribullet, we just make our own shakes and it's, it's simple, so got rid of the blender already. The juicer we do use, but I'm gonna find a home for it in another closet because I don't think it's a good place for it here. And then we're gonna, yeah, organize all of this and get rid of this stuff. I always just leave those frying pans out because there's no room in the cupboards for them. So let's fix that solution today too. And then in here we've got more food storage, so there should be room to put some of these things in there. All right, so that's the overhaul of my kitchen that we're gonna be going through. So I'm gonna set it up over here so that you can see what I'm doing and I'm going to um, put it on fast forward for you guys so you can watch as I clean. All right.
Okay, so I hesitated with the cooling racks because I was like, I don't make cookies ever so I can get rid of them. But then I was like, oh, but I use them when I make kale chips. And then I tried to bring it back into the kitchen, but then I was like, how often do I really make kale chips that I can't just let them dry on the actual baking sheet? Do I really, really need this? Is it like essential to making kale chips? The answer is no. Okay, so now I remember where I got the pie crust, the pie, um, the pie container from. It was from my mom, and I love my mom, so then I felt guilty that I was gonna give it away, but I don't use it. So, that's where minimalism is hard, because I'm super sentimental, and so now I'm like, oh, well I should keep it, because if I make a pie in the future, then I can use it, and then I can think of my mom, but then I have to realize that I may never make a pie and then I might just carry this pie, this perfect pie shell around for years and never use it. And so I'm going to maybe see if my mom can use it. And then if she can use it, if not, then maybe my sister can use it. So then that way it stays in my family and I don't feel bad because it's actually going to be used and loved and yes. So there are solutions. Um, so don't beat yourself up if you're like me and you're sentimental and then you can't let things go um, because they were gifts or something like that. Because your family is going to be a lot happier if you are happy than if you're holding on to stuff that's just actually causing you to store stuff and need bigger space that you have a hard time keeping clean or something like that or it costs you more money to rent a bigger apartment. All right? had a little bit of some antioxidizing cleanse juice which I absolutely love it's part of my superfood system um, if you want more information about that drop a comment it's amazing for cellular cleanse. Okay, so you should always throw out expired stuff. So this is super expired from last year, but it's not mine. So I'm gonna put it aside and he can throw it out on his own just so he doesn't think of throwing his stuff out. So don't throw out stuff that doesn't belong to you. Another very good point. It can be hard when you're minimalizing your life and then maybe your partner doesn't want to or is concerned about doing it. It's like a whiteout right now. Um, but 
don't jump ahead of yourself and start getting rid of their stuff. They're gonna really be mad at you about it. And eventually they're gonna come around. Like, he didn't wanna get rid of a lot of stuff and now he's getting rid of stuff that I didn't even think he would ever get rid of. So, they'll come around. You just keep doing you and it'll be a positive influence in their life too. Okay, so the juicer I'm gonna find somewhere else to store it because it takes up a lot of counter space and we use it maybe like three times a week so it doesn't always need to be out on the counter taking up our space. Okay, so I've encountered some kind of a bizarre problem. I was about to pull up the board, so there's nothing on it anymore, yay! But it seems to be glued to the counter. And I can't get it out. So, that's a little bit of a problem. So I'm gonna figure that out now. Wow. Okay, so that was incredibly hard to pull up. Sorry that it's so white out right now, but okay. That was incredibly hard to pull up. I am actually sweating right now. So apparently when we put this board down, we had a genius idea that we should like super glue it to the counter. I don't even know, but I finally managed to pop it off. It took me like 10 minutes. Hooray! So we like super duct taped it or something and it's been there for so long and it was a really hot summer here this summer so I guess it just melted to the counter. It was really tough to get off and now it was really satisfying because now I'm never putting this board back there again and it's gonna feel like a bigger kitchen and we're gonna have less clutter so it was totally worth a little bit of sweat and struggle. Okay, so we have an espresso machine that my boyfriend bought me for Christmas a few years ago. I love using it, but we're kind of old school and we always um, just use like our Italian coffee maker. Uh, so I think I'm gonna put this 
into a cupboard and I'll see if it comes out ever again. If not, maybe we can sell it and make a couple bucks. Okay, so we have successfully done a lot in the kitchen. And now it's time to tackle the drawer. Ta-da! I swear to God, I did get rid of some things and it looks like I didn't get rid of a single knife. It's crazy in there, so this is next. Okay, I think everybody has been given... I broke it. I think everybody has been given a garlic press at some point in their lives. I literally... I think I get one like every second Christmas and it's probably from like my mom and good intentions mom, I love you, but I always just chop my garlic up anyways, so I don't need the garlic press and I always feel bad and then I keep the things, like I was talking about the pie plate, but I'm happier if I have less things, so I think that it's understandable. So maybe I'm gonna see if family member wants this. This is for rolling sushi. Do you know how often I make sushi at home at my house? Never! So thank you for the maybe one time I made sushi at home and Not sure however how often we check the temperature of our meat because we just know how to like when it's ready. So this isn't mine, I'm gonna put it in the Alberto pile. Okay, a pizza cutter is another one of those random things that you think you need and so you buy it, but you can cut pizza with a knife. Just like and that's what I normally do, and I never grab for the pizza cutter. So Bye, pizza cutter! This is from when I used to think that it was okay to try to do my hair at home and DIYs. Yeah, my hair got really, really damaged, so I highly recommend, unless you have some kind of professional hair salon training, don't dye your hair at home. Also, a reminiscent time from when I made sushi that one time a long time ago and then dragged these around to every house I've ever lived at since. Bye! I have never realized how many straws we have. This is insane. We don't need this many straws. We're just two people, two people. So this one goes with the Starbucks cup. So we have to keep that one because it's long, okay? These three, gone. Plastic straws aren't very good for you anyways. These ones are the metal ones and I love them. But I really love these thick ones because they're great for when you make smoothies at home or protein shakes. Delicious.
and then I'll keep one of each of these. But the rest, have to go. This little guy is for making the zucchini uh, spaghetti squash noodles. I actually do like doing this, so I'm gonna keep this, and it's compact. I've seen like big, those big bulky ones, and I decided not to buy one of those because I knew it would take up too much room in the kitchen, so this is compact, and I can keep it. These are cute little guys for um, soaking your tea in, and as you can see, I've never used them, so I'm probably gonna go, but put in the maybe pile. I'm also somebody that always keeps like an excess amount of steak knives in case for some reason I would have six people over to my tiny little apartment to have like a steak dinner, I guess. Yeah, this has to stop. So I'm gonna keep two knives because there are two of us. And if anybody else comes over and we just happen to be serving steak that day, well, I do have like a lot of other like pairing knives. Maybe they can use that. David's TT scooper, love this. Okay, so I just had to stop for a second because somebody called me and they were coming to pick up something that I was selling for going through the minimalism journey. I ended up finding a lot of stuff that were high quality items that I had maybe bought on an impulse or I bought them in more than once or twice, never liked them, or there were a lot of electronics that we never ever use. So cash money just made $200 off selling some of my stuff that literally does not serve a purpose in my life anymore. But cash always does because that can go right in the bank. So, very happy about that. And now we'll get back to cleaning out the draw. Okay, so again, I have tons of knives and forks, like too many for two people. And it, what it does is it causes us to use up everything we have maybe before we run the dishwasher or wash dishes and that makes things a lot messier and we end up doing the dishes less frequently which means our house is dirtier longer and we're both believe it or not from the before part of this video we're both clean people we like things clean we like things organized and lately we've been finding that there was a lot of extra stress in our lives maybe we were arguing more than we used to and it just wasn't what we wanted. So that's why we began the minimalism journey. Um, and now that I see from a minimalist kind of point of view about how much cutlery we really have, I think immediately this is too much for two people. So I'm gonna give it away. So this is what I'm talking about. We've got in here, we've got two, four, six, eight, eight. Eight spoons, okay, big spoons. And then we've got two, four, six, and then two more in there. We've got eight small spoons. We've got two, four, six, eight, <laughs> ten, twelve. Twelve, twelve forks, people. We have twelve forks for two people. Wow. And the grand finale. We have two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve knives. Twelve butter knives. Nobody needs twelve butter knives. Let's get serious here. We don't need twelve butter knives. Look at all these knives. It's crazy. Crazy. I'm so happy I found out about minimalism because this, just knowing that I don't need this many knives is freeing. So I'm gonna keep four. I'm gonna keep four knives and that's it. And you know what? There are two different sizes of butter knives in here. There are, there are small butter knives and there are big butter knives. I'm not even gonna mess around and pretend like I'm gonna keep four of each or two of each. I'm just gonna keep four big normal size butter knives 
and they can actually double as cutting knives if somebody does come over, so then I don't need to care that I got rid of all the steak knives. This is practicality, people, okay? Four. Four is the answer. Do I really need a specific fork and spoon for mixing salads? No, definitely not. It's just excess stuff. I don't really serve salads on display to people, whereas I would need, like, perhaps a display style. This is unnecessary, completely unnecessary. So I use a regular, a regular fork normally. I don't even use a fork and a spoon, so bye. And then I also have... <laughs> anybody is like relating to this right now, don't worry because there's probably millions of people that can relate to this. I also have one small size fork and one big size fork. Like I'm a restaurant or something and I need to have a dessert fork and a salad fork. Like we are just people living in our house. We don't need four dessert forks and four regular sized forks and you know what? I actually always find trying to avoid these little forks because they're small and I want to put like normal size amount of food into my mouth so the little forks are going. <laughs> Okay, you guys, I am done with the cutlery drawer. So this is exciting. I've gotten rid of, I would say, roughly exactly half of everything that was in there. So let's check it out. So bird's eye view here. So this is what I've kept. These are, you know, lesser used and also um, stirware. This is for our juicer, so I'm keeping that. It strains out the pulp. Um, these are necessities, kind of, for opening things, peeling things. Um, we kept a couple of knives um, for different uses. Well, I kept a couple of knives. A pair of scissors. These are shaker for our shaker balls, for our shaker cups. This is to sharpen the knives. And then this is what the cutlery drawer has come down to with four forks, four spoons, four knives, two steak knives, one very sharp paring knife, and um, a couple of spoons of the small ones. And then we've got straws that I love and the zucchini thing, and that's it. And this is everything that we did not keep. All this stuff did not make the cut. So I'm gonna donate this. This is enough for an entire other family to have more stuff than they need as well. So. I'm gonna donate all those things, which is fantastic. I actually have some friends who are moving right now and maybe they need some kitchenware. If not, then charity, because there's always people in need, so awesome. Okay guys, now we are going to do the Tupperware drawer. So this one is like my arch nemesis right now because I've actually already done it once and I thought I got rid of a lot of stuff and then somehow it's completely full again and bursting at the seams. So we gotta solve this problem, which means getting rid of stuff. All right, that was actually fairly easy because at this point I'm just done with having all this extra plastic 
crap at my house so I just literally was like I'm gonna keep one of each size um, so this is what I kept so I kept one of each size of the plastic ones um, except I did not keep one of these tiny tiny little ones because I have never once used them it's way too small to contain anything I was thinking oh I might use it for salad dressing but when I make my salads for lunch I actually just drizzle olive oil um, and like a balsamic vinegar apple cider vinegar right into my salad um, so I don't ever use this and then I kept three of my shaker cups and one glass water bottle cheese grater and two little dishes um, and then over here is stuff I'm getting rid of so all the extra plastic wear a uh, container I don't use and uh, one shaker cup nice and simple Okay, so I am done cleaning the kitchen. Oh, you know what? I'm not done. I just noticed on top of the fridge, there's some stuff hiding up there. Let's get it. I just found a crap load of expired medicine because it was hidden, tucked up in that corner that nobody ever looks in. I'm gonna make sure that cupboard is empty because we don't use it. These two are literally full of expired medications for like cold and flu and stuff like that. This, they're expired like four years ago. That is very hoarderish. Okay, so some of the stuff up there was pretty gross. It was covered in dirt and grime really nasty and some of the medicines like I mentioned were expired four years ago so now up there is nice and clean I even cleaned on top of the fridge and this is some of the other stuff that came from there look at can you see that the dust and dirt on that like look at this thing I think it used to be black Okay, you guys, so I am officially done. That took me just about two hours. I was at it for about an hour and 50 minutes, including cleaning everything. I think that's pretty good for an entire kitchen, albeit our kitchen is a little bit smaller than yours may be, or bigger than yours may be. So don't kind of judge exactly what we have by what you have. Everybody has different stuff in their house. But I'm gonna show you the outcome now, so. There's the after. So before we had that big board across there full of stuff, which has now all been given a home. Okay, so if we go over here, you can see there used to be a juicer, piles of things, protein powders, and yada, yada, yada. It's just a nice clear space now. Oh, beautiful. And just the Nutribullet's gonna stay out. I'm gonna find a home for the juicer um, in the closet. And in the cupboard, I've gotten rid of those heavy dark plates. I've kept only the glass stemware that matches. And yes, so that's what we've got in here. Okay, over here, my um, partner absolutely loves this um, box. I love it too. It's nice kind of kitchen. It's a wine box, but it looks nice in the kitchen. So we put all of our olive oils in there. We cook a lot, so we use lots of different kinds of olive oils. There's truffle oils and spicy ones and 
all different kinds of goodies in there. So that one's done. Um, yeah. So if you remember before, this was a complete disaster, but now I've managed to keep just the essentials in here. Um, this one's the food drawer, so this is basically just all the food in there that we're gonna eat. And I've organized this drawer. So you can see um, I managed to fit my lunch kit in there, which used to be on top of the fridge. Um, and then I've just got the essentials that we need. We don't need any more than this. Um, if I find out that we're not using all three of these shaker cups, I might get one rid of one of them too. Okay. Over to the cup and glasses. Those are our portable water mugs. I'm going to talk to my partner and see which ones if he wants to get rid of any. I only really use the pink one for when I'm in the car. And then I use... Um, a glass water bottle for if I go to the gym. The mugs situation, we may have to revisit because I kept a lot more than I wanted to and then also there's some in the dishwasher, so that's all right. Um, one step at a time and then we've got two more glasses like this in the dishwasher so they match, got rid of all the other stuff and I managed to put the Nutribullet things in here because before they just used to sit on the counter, now they have a home which is amazing so I'm super excited I've also cleared out this was full of old bags that we didn't use like from the grocery store it was really gross and here this is all nice and tidy now tidy 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 cleaned it out got rid of any excess and all of the frying pans now fit in the cupboard with the pots that we need and the cookware that we need so there's nothing in excess just what we need well except we might not need two frying pans but you never know we might to cook two frying type things at the same time we do cook a lot so my boyfriend's italian and i love cooking so he does too um and then that's it so i'm very excited we've also cleared out the top of the fridge so nothing needs to go up there anymore it's just put all of our protein powders, healthy stuff, into the cupboard and I made a tea uh, slash coffee center area which is exciting and then I've also moved the Nespresso machine because we are old school like I mentioned we just use our like Italian coffee maker and this is for making lattes so that's really all we need and I feel a lot better about this. I feel like this is going to be easier to take care of. I feel like it's easier to clean. We have nice clean counter space. The one thing that I need to find a solution for is this area. So right here, I always come home and I put, I take off my watch and I take off my bracelets and I put them on the counter with my keys and he puts his keys on the counter and then my wallet normally. And I need to get, I think like a little dish so that these all are contained in a dish so they don't feel like this what starts happening is this stuff will spread out and just drive me nuts because I don't have to constantly be rearranging it. So that's one thing that I will invest in. Um, when I find the perfect one, I will get a nice little um, display kind of counter holder. If you have any suggestions for something I could use for that, that would be great. If you want to put them in the comments and just let me know what you use to hold your keys. Um, that would be very very helpful or your watches how you store those as well would be really helpful you guys So thank you so much for watching my minimalism kitchen transformation I'm super excited with how it turned out and before I go I'm gonna let you know the stuff that we're giving away This giant pile of things is all stuff that is going to charity. This is full of dishes This is that board here that we no longer need, that was in the kitchen, just ridiculous. Um, and then this is full of kitchen stuff. And then all the stuff that's over here was also in the kitchen, but doesn't belong to me. So I'm gonna let him decide if it goes or it stays. And that's it. So thank you so much for tuning in and checking out my Minimalism Kitchen series. I'm super excited with how it turned out and if you would like to see more videos and you enjoyed watching this Please share it with somebody and subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up and we'll see you in the next video. Bye guys